go. Hi guys, today I'm going to do a, a wireless induction mod on the Samsung Galaxy Note. Um, as you can see from the actual case here, it's a, it's a brilliant phone and it's already got available the two ports that allow you to connect an inductive charger. Now for any of you who don't know, the inductive charging is a process of wirelessly charging the device from using induction. Um, I'll explain that in another video how the principles work, uh, but in this one I'm just going to get on straight with the mod. I decided to use the Palm Pre and Palm Dock to this, it's for designs for a completely different phone, but it's very easy to extract the element and use it with the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, both of these only cost me $14.99, which is not a bad price for them. The Stanley knife, scissors, copper tape, and a small flat headed screwdriver. That's just to help us get into the get the element off the palm print, not to open any screws or anything like that. So don't worry about warranties or anything, this doesn't affect it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is well, see what I've got here. So I'm going to get my scissors and just open up the palm print dock because we're going to use that, put that on the desk ready so that we can use it for positioning the elements later because it'll make it a lot easier to get the element in the right place so that the phone isn't too high or too low on the dock. Alright, there we go. So what you get with it is the actual dock unit and you get a manual. Now the dock itself won't fit the standard Samsung Galaxy cable, you know the charging cable, it's the same fitting but the cable's just too wide, it doesn't fit in the hole. So uh, get, you have to get another one. I think I used the one from a Google Nexus because that's a very narrow, low profile one and it fits in very snugly with the uh, um, pre-charger. Right, they put plastic caps on top and said don't forget to take that off like I almost did there so let's just pop it back on the desk and throw the, pla the plastic caps I don't know why they put these on there but they could be quite useful for um, other projects possibly later on so I'll just put that to one side for now right I also give you an instruction manual bound with a small paper ribbon um, I, we're not really going to read this because like every other device in the world we open we never read the instructions so yeah it's a nice little thing they've got there with the whole paper ribbon, but yeah, we're just going to throw it to one side. Okay, and now on to opening the case. So just, uh, this should be easy to open because it's a bigger box. Just pop it through the bottom here and then any second. There we go. Right, so, yeah, that's the old case we're going to take the element out of. If you look in the back there, you can already see the four magnets and the inductive coil there in the center. So, yeah, that's the pit, that's the gubbins, that's the bit we need. Uh, the rest of the case, it can go in the bin or be stored as a case. I don't know why you'd need it, unless you've got a palm phone. So what I did was I just got the um, back edge of the Stanley knife and just used it to, to lift the corner of the like black plastic film that's holding down the element. You've got to be careful because you don't want to chop anything yet. Um, but I just used it just to peel it a little bit and so I could get it up and I think, yeah, a little bit more. Right, there we go, yeah. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver now to, you know, pry the rest up so I can get my hands in there and just pull it off. When you're pulling at it, pull it carefully. You don't want to bend the element in there. You break any copper wires because you're gonna, you know, only takes one break in this, uh, in that copper wire, and you know you're gonna massively affect your charging capabilities if not completely remove its ability to charge. So we just want to peel it back nice and carefully. When you do this, the magnets might not stick to the paper like mine have, and also that metal film inside might not stick. The black plastic that's optional, but that metal film piece there, you need that for some reason. Don't know why, but you just need it. So keep hold of it. All right, two of my magnets are stuck to the board here, so I'm just going to peel them off and stick them back to where they were on that original case. Because the magnets are used to hold the palm pre uh, element onto the charging circle. Without the magnets, it'll just slide off. I keep saying palm pre, it's going to be used to hold our note onto the um, palm pre dock. So I'll just pop those two out. 
as one's done and I'm just getting the second one now be careful when you're pulling them out because uh, the double sided tape from the back of the magnet goes underneath the element you don't want to pull too hard and wrench the element bend it or anything like that so just be extra careful all right they're all on now if all magnets in position what i'm going to do is trim off the bit of plastic at the top because um we don't need that that's just um securing it and it also bulges out a little bit so if you just trim that bit off the top there it'll make it a little bit more snug in the phone you know it's not causing any damage to the charging or anything like that. it's just a sticker basically all right so pop that right down there just stick that to the side Right, now I'm going to use the Stanley knife to carefully lift the element out of the actual um, phone dock. You don't want to bend anything, you don't want to snap anything, you do not want to scratch that um, PCB. So if you just flex the case a bit, it'll loosen the element off the board now that it's not got the cover on top. And it'll make it a lot easier to get your blade under there. Like I'm holding pressure on this at the moment, bending it back as I'm just inserting the knife around the edges of the board. And just twisting slightly just to lift it off almost got it almost got it let's get my hand in there now nope I need to get a little bit further around on the edge there that should be it should just slide it forward now it'll peel itself off of the double sided tape that's holding it down um, any second and there we go and that is the bit we need. That's it, the inductive element with the circuit to control its charging. We need to position this now back on where it originally sat on that uh, sticky back plastic. Uh, it doesn't need to be 100% accurate, but the closer you can get it to the center, the more efficient the charge you're gonna get through. Right, this is a whole trial and error process. You know, I'd be very surprised if the first time you connect it, your first time you try and stick it down, you get it bang on where you want it. Uh, just be patient, don't rush it, because the last thing you want to do is damage your element and have to order another one to carry on. And there we go. That's close enough to the centre for my liking, and the bulge isn't that bad. So now what we want to do is figure out where we're going to put it on the foam. Now the way you know I th about there is going to be right but it's hard to judge just from checking by the phone uh, but you know you don't want to have it too far up too far down so what I'm going to do is measure it against the dock so I'm going to put the phone to where I roughly think it should sit and I can just you know oh, oh, be careful not to stick it too far it's going to be about there the phone will sit nicely in the dock without any problems turn it round and just stick it on there now you can use the original black plastic that's why we kept it now you can use you know if you if you damage that black plastic as long as you've still got that metal piece inside you can just use double-sided tape or whatever you feel whatever you've got available to stick it down I've seen people use um, all sorts of these sort of similar things where you've got to stick down to the back of phone cases for like LED mods and stuff and um, you can pretty much get away with anything as long as it's thin and it's strong. Right, so now that I've stuck it down, tested it on the stand, it's in the right place. Uh, and I've tested that it's definitely going to, um, you know, fit back on the case. Well, it's definitely going to be in the right position without, you know, grounding anywhere. We need to cut off a strip of our copper tape. This is going to be used to bridge the contacts from the palm pre to where they need to go on the knock onto the Note 2's inductive charging sockets. Uh, 